Hi, welcome to my video. Right, today we're having a look at this uh, Android TV box. Um, this is brand new, um, however it's been in storage for a little while. It's um, it's got some, I, I noticed today, some minor scuff marks on the top. You can hardly see them, look there's a little scuff there. Um, but I assure you it is brand new, it, because this is like a polished metal, it, unfortunately it's received some scuffs probably in the box from having the stuff on top of it um, it's nothing major right um, anyway right let's uh, let's talk about this basically this is an Android TV box if you've got a TV and need to make it into a smart TV this is the best way to do it um, just plug it into your TV and uh, you've got uh, lots of functionality added to your TV if you've used an Android tablet this is basically the same you plug it in and um, it's like an Android tablet if you like so anything that an Android tablet can do your TV will, will be able to do with this so let's have a look at uh, what we've got here. We've got an SD card port on the front. We've got the power here. Keep your finger on that for about five seconds to turn it on. We've got reset button there. And on the other side, we've got all our connections. We've got our power, we've got an optical connection there and a HDMI. On the side here, we've got um, some more connections, um, a, a LAN connection and four USB ports here, which is great. Accessories wise we're getting um, the power supply UK, um, we're getting some uh, AV um, uh, connections and we're getting uh, some more AV connections here as well. HDMI cable which is important and the remote control. Now this remote control, this is not a touchpad by the way, you, it enables you to basically access all the, the, the menus on the, uh, the the TV box. I prefer to use a keyboard and mouse combination. If you've got a wireless one, it will just plug into those USB ports and away you go. So um, like a computer, if you like, um, you can uh, uh, interact with it with a, a mouse and keyboard. Um, interestingly as well with these uh, the AV cables um, you can connect it to an older TV I mean if you haven't got HDMI you can use these uh, the phono connections here which most t older TVs will have um, the, the the red yellow and the white um, and um, upgrade the older TV so some uh, Android TV boxes don't have that this does this gives you flexibility to uh, to upgrade uh, more devices so not just TVs with HDMI so that's it really so what I'm going to do now is plug it into my TV and show you how it works okay now that it started um, the, the Android TV box I can show you how it works now I'm using a uh, USB keyboard, um, I, you won't be able to see it, but I'm just using a wireless USB keyboard. You can use any USB keyboard um, on the, uh, the, the, the TV box and it work. It does come with remote like I showed you earlier and it has all the basic functions that you'd want to use. Um, there we are, I'm just pressing left and right and stuff and you can, uh, you can uh, use that remote, but I prefer having uh, a trackpad. Anyway, we've got video, music, gallery, apps and settings. Now if you go into these sections, if you have any media like a USB or uh, SD card, it will search that media for um, uh, videos, music or pictures and it will display them in a nice gallery. We've got our app section here where all our apps are kept. And finally we've got settings as well. Now you'll notice that this is probably not what you're used to with Android um, because this is just a skin that uh, well a launcher uh, to be more precise um, I you can install your own launcher um, it comes with this default launcher but you can install your own launcher if you want to so I've uh, let me show you um, I've installed Nova launcher and that will give you uh, an idea of uh, what what your normal Android looks like with home screens and uh, the app tray and things like that. So um, you can there's plenty of launchers on the Play Store and uh, get to show you the Play Store here as well. So you can see that the Play Store is fully operational working. Very handy to install applications and games. 
and things like that. You can, I mean, if, you, if you're used to an, a uh, tablet, like I said, if you're used to a, an Android tablet, this works exactly the same. It's just making your TV into a tablet and making it into a smart TV uh, because, you know, having having Android on your TV just makes it, enables it to do much, much more. So there you have the launcher. You can change it into any launcher you want to. Uh, Play Store's on there. Um, and I've installed um, YouTube and BBC iPlayer as well. Uh, BBC iPlayer I found worked quite well. It is a bit buggy sometimes, BBC iPlayer, but that's more to do with the app. And the BBC iPlayer is improving all the time and it's going to get better. So yeah, you can, um, you can watch iPlayer, which I find very handy because, they, you know, BBC iPlayer does have some great programs on there. So, um, so that's it really. I can't um, recommend this TV box enough. If you haven't got a smart TV, you missed out. Don't go and spend loads of money on uh, on, a, on a smart TV when you can just basically get this box and upgrade your TV to a, a smart box. Have it a, a smart TV have internet on there, browse the internet, watch movies and um, anything you like really, it's, it's very flexible. So thanks for watching the video, um, I do hope you choose to buy this uh, Android TV box, it's a great product, thanks very much.